A warning that this story contains a description of sexual assault that could be upsetting for some viewers. Tonight, the King 5 investigators expose how a corrections officer who sexually assaulted inmates in a small jail on the Olympic Peninsula hung on to his prison job for years despite a slew of violations. Taylor Murfrindoreski spent months digging into his case. Here's a look at what's coming up. It's humiliating. It's violating. What happened to Morgan Lee more than two years ago still keeps her awake at night. It didn't feel real. In 2019, she was handcuffed and shackled in this van on her way to the Forks Jail for a misdemeanor when her guard reached under her skirt and sexually assaulted her. I was at the mercy of, of him, powerless to do anything, and I think that's how he preferred it. Lee reported the assault, and early last year, she watched on Zoom. All right, so we're here for sentencing. As a Clallam County Court judge sentenced John Gray, her former jail guard, to 20 months in prison. Mr. Gray, anything you want to say to the court? He pled guilty to sexually assaulting not just Lee, but three other women who were inmates at the city of Forks Jail, while he was in charge of protecting them. I mean, that was his job, as somebody that we were supposed to be able to trust. But it's what happened before Gray's crimes in Forks before he ever worked there, that now raises serious questions about the decisions of the people in charge of him. Because this should have never happened. Coming up tonight at 6.30 and 11, the King 5 investigators dig into Officer Gray's thick disciplinary record as a former prison guard and show how leaders at every level allowed a predator to remain on the job. And there's much more to this investigation online, including a full response from the Department of Corrections. If you want to read that, you can text the word prison to 206-448-4545. We'll send you a link.